edukasyong hatid sa bawat tahanan walang iwanan because we learn as one Hello friends! I am so happy you are joining us today in another episode of We Learn As One, My TV School. I am Teacher Lino. Today, I am working in the school garden with Kuya Ian and Ate Sam. Hello friends! Kuya Ian, Ate Sam and I are growing vegetables in our garden. Have you ever grown something in a garden? Wonderful! I'm glad that so many of you grow things. People all around the world grow different things in their gardens. Some grow vegetables. Some grow fruits. Others grow rice and other grains. People grow flowers and herbs in gardens too. I like growing things in our garden, but it is hard work. You're right, Ate Sam. To make a good garden, you need good soil, enough water, and the right amount of sunlight. It takes a lot of work to make the soil ready. Plant the seeds, water the plants, and then pick what you have grown. Children, thinking of gardens reminds me of a story I want to share with you today. Teacher Lino, is the story about gardens? Well, Kuya Ian, let's just say the story might talk about some very big gardens. You will see when we read. Let's go inside now. Okay, everyone, sit down and get ready for Story, Story Corner! Children, I want to spell and read some words together that we will see in our new story. Knowing these words will help us read. Are you ready? Yes, yes Teacher Lino. We will spell each word and read it together. Then, I will use it in a sentence. Our first word is seedbed. S-E-E-D-B-E-D. -E Seedbed. Children, spell and read the word with me. S E E D B E D. Seedbed. Teacher Lino, do seeds go to sleep in a seed bed? <laughs> no, Kuya Ian. A seed bed is not a bed like yours or mine. This is a seed bed. It is a plot of good soil for growing plants from seeds. The plants that grow are called seedlings. Let's try another word. This word is terraces. T E R R A C E S. Terraces. Let's do it together. T E R R A C E S. Terraces. Teacher Lino. I eat lunch on a terrace at home. Lovely, Ate Sam. A terrace can be a small patio like the one you have at home. But terraces are also flat pieces of land that are built into the sides of hills and mountains for farming. Here, you can see some terraces that farmers in the Philippines have made. The terraces allow farmers to use the hills and mountains that would normally be 
too steep for growing crops. This word is paddies. P A D D I E S. Paddies. Spell and read the word with me. P A D D I E S. Paddies. Children, paddies are fields where farmers grow rice. In the Philippines, rice paddies are often found on terraces. Our next word to read is weather. W E A T H E R. Weather. Let's spell and read the word together. W E A T H E R. Weather. Teacher Lino, I know what weather is. It's what's happening in the sky outside. Today, the weather is sunny. You are partly correct, Kuya Ian. Weather tells us what it is like outside. It may be sunny, or cloudy, or rainy, or snowy. But weather is more than just what we see in the sky. Weather is how hot or cold or windy it is outside too. That reminds me of our last word, temperature. T E M P E R A T U R E. Temperature. Children, Spell and read the word with me. T E M P E R A T U R E. Temperature. Children, temperature tells us how warm or cold it is. Look, our thermometer shows us that it is 26 degrees Celsius outside today. That's pretty hot! You all did a great job reading those words! Now, let's read our new story. Here's the cover of the story. What do you see in the picture? Excellent! I see a family listening to the radio. Teacher Lino, I think the family looks worried. Maybe they are hearing bad news on the radio. Look at the pictures above their heads. The boy is thinking about the hot and dry day. The girl is thinking about the wet, rainy day. Maybe they are listening to a weather report on the radio. Wow, Ate Sam and Kuya Ian, you have some good ideas. You might be right. Children, have you ever listened to a weather report? That's good. News about the weather can help us be prepared when we go outside. It can also tell us if there will be dangerous weather in our community. Let's read to see what happens in the story. Kuya Ian, Ate Sam, and I will read aloud. You can read with us by reading the words on your screen. The title of our story is Bounty in Our Hands. Do you know what bounty means? Very good! I heard someone say a lot. Bounty can mean a lot of something. It can also mean an amount of crops that are grown. Our story was written by Georgie Reynes Santos. 
It was edited by Pia Zoraida Businios. Edited means she helped the writer. Jericho Moral drew the pictures. Chapter 1 Do no one works in the fields every day? Bugan helps him. Ali and Dina help too when they are not in school. Today, Dulnuwan drains the water from the field and prepares the seed bed. Bugan and the children pull the weeds. They toil in the field all morning. They rest under the shade of a tree and eat lunch. They eat boiled rice and beans. Ali and Dina are proud of their work. Do no one looks at the clear blue sky. There is not a cloud in sight. He looks at the terraces below. He bends to pick a handful of soil. He frowns. Are you still worried about El Nino, Ama? Ali asks. The new one nods and explains. During El Nino, weather is hotter and drier than usual. Seed beds and rice paddies dry up. That is not good for farmers. Later, I will sow the seeds in the seed bed. If it dries up, the seeds will not grow. Then, there will be no seedlings to plant. In the afternoon, Dulnuan and Bugan sow seeds in the seed bed. How can we help Ama and Ina? Asks Dina in a soft voice. Ali hears her and says, You can sing to the rice seeds. Lola said that if we sing to the plants, they will grow tall and heavy with fruit. <laughs> That's funny. Is that true? Dina asks. Lola said you can dance for rain and good harvest. You heard Ama. If there is no rain, the seed beds will dry up. And so will the seedlings. Dina walks along the seed beds, singing softly. I, 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 under the mud, rest and sleep, grow oh with speed, little rice seed, healthy seedlings we badly need. I, 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 I. Ali does not dance, but keeps busy. He gathers soft soil in his hands. He forms what looks like a jar. The work is done. It is time to go home. The family hikes up the trail to their hut. Dulnuan pauses. He looks up to the sky. Now he sees clouds. They are turning gray. Let us hurry, he says. This long, dry, and hot weather can just as suddenly bring in heavy rains. Sometimes, it brings in even strong storms and typhoons. Wow! This is an exciting story! Let's talk for a moment about what is happening. Can you tell me who the characters are? Dulnuan is the father. And Bugan is the mother. Ali is the brother, and Dina is the sister. Very good, Ate Sam and Kuya Ian. What are the characters doing in the story? They are farmers, and they work in the fields, Teacher Lino. Yes, they prepare the seed beds, pull weeds, and plant the seeds. Excellent! Is there a problem? in this story. Teacher Lino, 
I think the problem is that El Nino might make the seed beds and rice paddies dry up. Then, the seeds will not grow. That is a big problem! The new one seems very worried. They all want some rain for their soil. That's right! El Nino is a weather pattern of hot, dry weather. It can hurt the seed beds and seedlings. What do Ali and Dina do to help? Ali works with the soft soil. Dina sings to the seeds and dances for rain and a good harvest. You are right, Ate Sam. Teacher Lino, I think Dina's song and dance worked. There are rain clouds at the end of the chapter. I think rain is coming. But Kuya Ian, the gray clouds are very scary. The new one seems worried about heavy rains. The new one does seem worried, Ate Sam. He is worried that strong storms might bring heavy rains. That could hurt the seedbeds by flooding them. I think farming is very hard work. Not enough rain can hurt the crops. Too much rain can hurt the crops too. Now, I know why the family looks so worried when they listen to the radio. I can't wait anymore. Let's read chapter 2 to see if the heavy rains come. Chapter 2 Big drops of rain fall just as the family enters their hut. Inside their hut, it is warm and dry. Dulnuan starts the fire while Bugan prepares supper. She asks Ali and Dina to slice the kamote. The two children are excited because Ina is going to cook their favorite dish. A mixture of rice, kamote, and kamote tops. Outside, it continues to rain. Ama, it's raining. This is good, right? Dina asks as she puts four bowls on the table. Yes, this will be good for the seed beds and for the rest of the field. At least it won't be like the last El Nino, Dulnuan replies. Bugan frowns as she recounts, It did not rain for seven months. Many of the rice paddies dried up. Soil cracked and seedlings dried up. Some of the terraces' walls even crumbled. Dulnuan adds, Since it's raining, does this mean there will be no more El Nino? Ali asks, No, this is just the Amihan or monsoon rains. Dulnuan replies, El Nino usually starts after Christmas and can last up to a year. There is also La Nina, which is the opposite of El Nino. Bugan explains as she places the pot of food on the table. La Nina is cold and wet. They talk about weather patterns during supper. Dulnuan describes how the rainy season starts late during El Nino and how the rainy season lasts longer during La Nina. He explains that extreme temperatures can become a problem too. Once Extremely low temperature and dense fogs caused much damage to the crops in Ifugao. 
Wait, I think that is my homework. Ali exclaims. He gets his book and shows Dulnuwan the page with the temperature chart. Dulnuwan teaches him how to read it and helps him answer the questions. Children, we are learning a lot about weather patterns in the Philippines. Can anyone tell me how La Nina is different from El Nino? Teacher Lino, during La Nina, the weather is cold and wet. During El Nino, the weather is warm and dry. And both La Nina and El Nino have a rainy season. But during El Nino, when it is warm and dry, the rainy season is shorter. Very good, Ate Sam and Kuya Ian. Children at home, did you say the same thing? If you did, you did a good job listening carefully to our story. Everyone, we read some words with tricky letter patterns in this story. Let's take a look at some of them. Look at the vowel pattern O-U. The letters O-U together say the sound OW. Can you say that sound with me? Ow! Great! Now, look at the vowel pattern O-W. The letters O-W together sometimes say the sound Ow! too. Say the sound with me. Ow! Let's practice sounding out and reading some words with these patterns. Here's our first word. P, R, Ow, D, Proud. She is proud that she won first place in the race. Very good! Let's try another word. Ow! How? How are you is a polite question to ask a friend. Now, try this word. K, L, Ow, D, Cloud. A cloud was in front of the sun. Here's another word. F, R, Ow, N, S, Frowns. He frowns when he feels grumpy. Children, can you make frowns with me? Good job making frowns, everyone! Let's try this word. Children, when a long word ends in the letter Y, the Y makes the long E sound. E. B. Ow. N. T. E. Bounty. <laughs> Great job! I saw a bounty of fruit on the table. Wow, children, you have done such a good job with these words. I think you are ready for a surprise. I like surprises. Me too, Teacher Lino. What is the surprise? Well, the surprise has to do with the setting of our story. Can you remember where the characters live and where the story happens? They live on a farm. They farm on terraces, so I think they live in the mountains. 
I think so too, Kui Ian. I remember no no one talks about Ifugao. I think they must live in Ifugao. Very good, Kuya Ian and Ate Sam. The terraces in Ifugao are so beautiful. My surprise for you today is that we can see these amazing terraces in a special video I made. They are called the Five Rice Terraces of the Philippine Cordilleras. Do you want to watch my video? Yes, yes Teacher Lino! How about you, children? Would you like to watch the video with us? Great! Here it is! Five Rice Terraces of the Philippine Cordilleras Bangaan Terrace Cluster Batad Terrace Cluster Hongduan Terrace Cluster Mayoyao Terrace Cluster Nagakadan Terrace Cluster Wow, Teacher Lino! I never knew the Philippines had so many farms on terraces. They look so beautiful! Yes, Ate Sam. The Philippines is famous around the world for its terrace farms in the mountains. Teacher Lino, are there rice seedlings in all of the terraces? No, Kuya Ian. Not all of the terraces are for growing rice. Some grow kamote, which is also known as sweet potato. Talking about rice and kamote makes me very hungry. Some rice pudding or sweet potato pie would taste great right now. Okay, Kuya Ian. We can get a snack soon. Children, we are at the end of our story time today. When we meet again, we will read the last two chapters of Bounty in Our Hands. I have homework for you. For homework, read or retell chapters 1 and 2 of our story to someone at home. Then, make a list of words you know with the sound, OW! We had so much fun reading the story and learning new word patterns with you all. We hope you and your families had fun too! I like that here at my TV school, we learn as one, yes we learn as one, together hand in hand. We learn as one, yes we learn as one, together hand in hand. Thank you for joining us. See you next time on Story Corner. Goodbye! Goodbye everyone! We learn as one. Yes, we learn as one, together hand in